Hello Aries, welcome to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma <clears throat> and today I'm going to be reading a relationship spread for the Aries Collective. I do have a couple of messages so do feel free to jump to the timestamp to get straight to the cards if you would prefer to skip that. Firstly, a little information just as to how you can get the most out of these readings. Do have an open mind as to who your person is. For most of you, there will be no doubt you've come here for a specific person and that is who will come through. If, however, someone else's energy is strongly with you right now, whether you're fully aware of that or not, that person may essentially hijack your reading. It's also worth noting that this may not necessarily be a romantic connection. This could be a friend or a family member or a work colleague, for example. Do be aware, Aries, that you are so much more than your sun sign. You should definitely be open to exploring readings from your rising moon and your Venus signs at the very least. Often you will hear myself and other readers prompt you to take the reading as it resonates. You will know if any of the messages that come through today are for you because it will feel as though I am speaking directly to you. And if most of this resonates, but there's say, you know, one or two things that just don't feel right, then don't force those parts to fit. Just put them to one side. That was for someone else. Cross watchers, you are absolutely most welcome here and all the above applies. If you would like a reading that is more geared towards your specific situation, I am taking bookings for private readings for March and April. Readings will be pre-recorded. They are 30 minutes minimum and cost $40. You will have the opportunity to tell me any relevant details about your situation and ask questions. Email me on window to the soul tarot at outlook.com for inquiries. Lastly, there is an extended reading for this reading here for anybody that this reading truly does resonate with over on Patreon. For $5, you will gain access to all of the extended readings for all of the signs. So you can go ahead and cross watch and look at your other placements as well. Plus all the bonus content. The link to that is in the description along with links to everything else and all the information that you need. Aries, thank you for bearing with me. Let's get into some cards for you. This will be you and this will be your person. That is the way I will read this. But if at any point during the reading you recognize that actually this is flipped, that's completely fine. You flip it accordingly. So you, Aries, are the clean it up card. Okay, what are we cleaning up? We will explore. Your person here and now. Okay, that's interesting energy. I'm feeling a strained dynamic between the two of you here. What's coming across strongly here is resentment from this person regarding this person seems to be skipping around happy as Larry with no consequences, I'm not sure what for, that's the phrase that's coming through, with no consequences to deal with, while you, Aries, have been left cleaning up their mess, I'm hearing. Fascinating. Let's get a Lenormand on these. Ooh. Yeah, you have the snake, which is cunning, manipulation, betrayal charm do you feel like you've been charmed by this person and manipulated and played i'm not sure if i like where this one's going aries your person the moon just kind of got their eyes closed in the dark not really like this person feels kind of oblivious to what it is you're dealing with here. Perhaps there has been some kind of deception that you can see, that you are aware of, that you know about, 
and your person doesn't know that you know or they're playing dumb interesting that your person has both 32 here both of these cards are number 32 which is kind of interesting that number may resonate for some of you in some way we also have the eight of hearts here which is the eight of cups which is kind of a skipping off into the sunset kind of card 32 obviously three and two breaks down to a five fives are the energy of chaos and conflict and instability and change also lessons learned opportunity for growth hmm. yeah it feels like the burden of whatever's going on here seems to be on you. I'm, I'm hearing scot-free, getting away with it scot-free, not having to accept or live with the consequences from your person's side here. I'm also being very drawn to this red flag. Are you kind of berating yourself for not noticing the red flag? Okay, this is interesting. Let's get some more cards on this and see how this plays out for you, Aries. I'm going to get some mutual energy down the centre line for this connection, past, present and future. Please, Spirit, if you could help us out with Aries and this person that they are connecting with, please. What on earth has gone on here? How does this this feels like it's all the burden is all on you and this person just like i said oblivious is the word just completely oblivious to your struggle here past energy of this connection is the lovers well i would say that this is most likely a romantic connection of course in that little introduction i did say not necessarily a romantic connection but the lovers card would would suggest it's it's most likely that this was a romantic connection the um energy of gemini is resonating strongly of course with the lovers card could be that your person is a gemini or you or your person have gemini strongly in your chart could be talking about gemini season which is late may into june um is relevant for you in some way you know the fifth month as well that five fifth month is may that could be speaking particularly for some of you perhaps something happened in may yeah, there was, there was togetherness. There was a desire here. There was longing. There was desire. There were. This was a deeply felt mutual attraction. This was certainly a two-way situation. Um, I'm feeling passion. I'm feeling love. I'm feeling a lot of kind of sexy vibes between you both. Um, I think you both opened up to each other. I think you shared a lot. So why are we in this strange quagmire here when this is beautiful present energy of this connection is the two of pentacles well we've got the lovers and an infinity there's an infinity symbol here aries i know not everybody enjoys the labels so disregard if it's not something that you resonate with but there could be a twin flamey thing going on here for some of you okay i have to put that out there when i start seeing twin infinity symbol yin yang infinity symbol when i start to see things like this jumping out that is not something i can ignore we've got also a card here of cycles so we could be talking about a soulmate or a past life connection but there is absolutely a struggle here there is a disconnect possibly a separation or maybe you've recently had an argument or something here um somebody here seems to be juggling now is that juggling you and somebody else or juggling this connection and something rather than someone else um somebody certainly feels distracted somebody's not really paying attention to this connection absolutely not paying attention to the emotions involved and somebody is exerting a great deal of self-control in holding back here could be that this person's kind of ignoring you 
Um, this dark moon energy could be them plunging you in the dark. They, they've left the building. They seems to have skedaddled here and you're just left feeling betrayed like you're having to pick up all of these pieces alone and not really understanding why. Again, I've given you a few different ways that we can see this future energy of this connection is the emperor. Now that is, of course, your card. So I would suggest that this is more likely you, but we'll see how the rest of the cards play in. But this feels like um, you, possibly, or some kind of order being established within this connection, or you taking some kind of control here. Um, this is kind of being recognised, and it right now it does not feel like you're being recognised at all. And I think you're really resenting that. This person, as I said, seems to be skipping around, deliriously oblivious to the fact that you're dealing with the fallout. That seems to be what's going on. And this looks like being that being somebody either stepping up taking responsibility or recognizing the mess that they've left because if you're having to clean it up that would suggest there's a mess right okay let's get some cards for the energy between you both here i'm going to look at let me just get my notes to make sure i remember everything Heart space, head space and action towards. So of course, of course, heart space will be how do you feel about each other? Head space, what are your thoughts regarding this connection? Action towards is, well, intended action towards. Not necessarily exactly what will happen, but intended. Assuming nothing else changes. Oh, good cards leaping all over the place here. Yeah, the goodness me i'm going to put them back in because that was like quite a few look at all of these cards <laughs> jumping out um somebody is itching like i'm feeling like an angry needing to talk here um let's see the um, no, heart space you're stuck hanged man heart space they oh okay they want to come back around and kind of um Liz, um the six of wands depicts or the original artwork in the Rider Waite Smith depicts the um the Roman triumph, which is when the warriors come back from the battle victorious. So and that they have a parade in the streets and everybody celebrates the awesomeness of the generals and how great they did and all that kind of stuff. And um so it essentially it's not just being a winner it's not just hashtag winning it's coming back and being recognized so it is essentially a triumphant return you know we return back to the wives and the children and the home it's a coming home it's a victorious recognition and coming home kind of energy i think this person absolutely wants to come back around and yet you just seem stuck here dealing with something that this person again feels entirely oblivious this person just is like while they're skipping around deliriously oblivious to the the strife and the struggle that is going on over here they also it would seem in their heart to believe on some level they can whenever they feel like at, at any given point come skipping back towards you the energy is going this way and yet you're the hanged man here you're you're literally stuck restricted trapped you feel like a martyr you have been sacrificed you feel this connection has been sacrificed there is some serious ignoring going on over here but also i hate to say it like an expectancy that whenever they feel like it you will be ready like you're just going to tidy up their mess and then sit there patiently and wait Ooh, have they met you aries that doesn't sound like a very aries kind of thing to for you to be doing to clean up somebody else's crap and then sit there and wait patiently for them to come back and mess up your house again yeah okay let's get some more cards headspace how are you f okay Wow, you 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 would like to reignite this again? You what? Okay, Princess of Cups. You both want to do this again? Yeah, 
You want to do this again. Be careful, Aries. Because I'm not sure if this person is consciously trying to take the piss here, but they're kind of taking the piss, right? Um, perhaps they've been deceptive about this energy. Again, the moon card could suggest that. The snake card could absolutely suggest that. This is like, uh, as an example, there was a split, right? And this is an example, so take it how it resonates. Either tune into the energy of this example, or for some of you, this might be exactly what's happened. There's been a split, and you've been hurting. It's sucked. It's not been pleasant. It's been hard, okay? And this person has echoed that sentiment. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was hard on me too. Yeah, I missed you too. Yeah, things have been really hard. Things have been really tough. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Aries, but it's bullshit. This person's been living in the moment, having having a whale of a time. Having a, a good time. Um, they've enjoyed themselves. They want to come back. But they have not been sitting in this, woe is me, I miss Aries, things are terrible without Aries. They may say those things, but it's just not true, which is why it's all cloaked in the darkness of the moon here. Which is why you have a snake in your midst. Be aware of that, because what I'm seeing here is in your head, you're saying, okay, yeah, well, we look good. We look good to, to get this party started again. This person's like, hey, I'm back, Aries. Aren't you deliriously excited and delighted that I have graced you with my presence again? And here's you waiting like a victim, sacrificed, cleaning up the mess. Here they come in, Knight of Cups. The Princess of Cups is the Knight of Cups, flirting and charismatic and romantic. This is, hey, I'm your knight in shining armor, Aries. Come back in to save the day. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been awful without you. I've had no fun whatsoever. My life has just been terrible without you. The stuff that went on during the split that they are not telling you about. Be aware of that. That does not mean this connection is not, you know, that you shouldn't go there, that you should just say, you know, you're full of lies. I'm not listening to, you know, the, it might not be as nefarious as all that, but there is an energy of being disingenuous from this person. All is not as it seems. Your action towards this person is the two of pentacles. Okay, so this is you here. You've possibly been throwing yourself into work or distracting yourself or keeping yourself busy here. You have remained very self-controlled because you've been stuck. I think you have been the one that's been unable to reach out to this person, whether that be because they ignored you or ghosted you and you were getting nothing back, or whether that be because you felt there was no point in reaching out, so, but maybe there, there were moments where you wanted to, but you controlled yourself and you didn't. Um, their action towards you, the four, they want back in. They absolutely want back in. Six of Wands, Knight of Cups, the four, they want back in, 100%. Um, I'm just not sure that it is their intention to be entirely truthful with you about something that might be something that comes up of course in the extended um i would say be very aware of this red flag i do see you taking some kind of control, taking some kind of lead here as we move forward. I would just say, trust your intuition, leap, uh, look before you leap. Um, I think that would be wise. For anybody who's moving over to the extended, I will see you over there in a moment for everybody else. Good luck with this one, Aries, truly. Yeah, watch out for the red flags. Um, pay attention to your intuition. 
take your time with it. I would say don't, again, look before you leap. 100%. Do take care. I'll be back for more readings really soon.